Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft How to Build. Manticore here, and in the past few episodes, we've gone ahead and we've built a witch's house, we've built a wizard's tower, which you can see right there behind me in the background, and we've also built a shaman's camp. Now, in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the magic themed buildings at least for now and we are going to be building a warlock's mansion so right over here we've got this nice big flat section which you can see we're working with and i went ahead and laid out the base blueprint for what we're going to be doing here today so that i have an idea and we're not spending a good 10 minutes laying that all out but what this basically is, is I'll actually go ahead and lay it down here because we're using gray concrete to build this up. And one nice thing about this mansion build is that a lot of the materials are that we're going to be using to build it are actually pretty easy to come by. So we're going to be using a lot of concrete, concrete powder, and dark oak wood. The, really the hardest thing to come across is if you're playing in survival is going to be quartz, but that's not too bad in itself. So what you're going to do when you're laying out this build is you're going to go ahead and create a little circle with a rough circumference of about a ratio of four, which pretty much just means that all of the sides are going to be built up in lengths of four. So we've got these four sides here, which are all built up in the four, as I mentioned, and I'm starting to repeat myself, I know. But then if you come over here to the diagonal sides, you've also got a diagonal of four. So that's the easiest way that I can describe this. Uh, I like to start out with this circle myself, since this is pretty much the center of the build. And then we're going to be working off of this. So deciding on which way you want your mansion to face, the part that's the actual circle is going to be the front. So then going around to the side, you're going to go ahead and start to build a, I want to say it's 11 by 8 rectangle in one of these corners is right where you'll start. And then coming down this way, we'll go out the 11. And then we'll go over by 8. And then you'll just go ahead and close that little rectangle off. <laughs> Once you have that, you can go ahead and repeat it on the other side. And I know I try not to do those tutorial videos with do this, do this, and pretty much blah blah blah, it's kind of boring. But in today's video, the reason I am being so careful about it is because this is kind of a specific build. However, if you're going to be building a mansion in general, feel free to alter this. You don't have to do these exact dimensions. You can go ahead and vary them if you think it'll be a little bit longer, a little bit wider. This is just a small mansion build, and if you do make those adjustments, just remember to incorporate them into anything else that we might be building up here, such as roofs or floors or decks. So I stopped building up because I wanted to actually go ahead and explain this next part. There's not much to it, but basically we're just going to be going out to the side of this rectangle by one, and then we're going to be bringing this all the way down into the corner of this little circle. But a good way to look at it is pretty much once you go out with that corner off the rectangle, You'll pretty much just build a line that is perpendicular with a line that does the exact same on the opposite side. So this is one out further from the actual little arm thing that sells. It's almost looking a little bit like a spaceship or like a rocket or something right about now. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish layering up this second bit of dark gray concrete. And then coming around here to the front, we're actually going to be building up a little bit of a deck, which is the reason that we made this concrete too high. So coming out here in the center, we'll go ahead and just build this three across, and then we'll go ahead and put a 
Spruce. That's not supposed to be on my inventory. We'll do a dark oak log right about there. And then we can either do this two ways. We can either build it up using dark oak logs, which is going to be the easier, cheaper way to go about doing it. Or we could also use pillars. And by that I mean quartz pillar. But we'll go ahead and fill this in now. And we're, what we're doing is we're just making a little bit of a wraparound deck at this point. Okay, so if we do something just like that, it's... Oh, I see what we did. Okay. So basically that is what we have going on now. And then I think I actually do want to take that out by one more. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Oh, that's not what we did. That's better. And so what we're trying to do here now is we're actually trying to make this look kind of uh, rounded, almost perpendicular. No, not perpendicular. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, folks. It's late. But if you just follow along here, you can sort of see that we're trying to keep it at a decent distance away from the wall itself. So I think the word I might have been leaning towards is actually parallel. So the opposite of perpendicular. But it's not quite parallel either, given the fact that it's a rounded shape. Despite my lack of knowledge grammar at this point in time, we are going to go ahead and bring this deck all the way down to about the border of the mansion itself. And then the reason I stopped right there on the edge is simply because I wanted to bring these dark oak logs around over here to the side. And then if we go up here, we'll go up about, um, oh, well, maybe I think we want to do about six high. Uh, we'll leave it be there for now, and we might be adding one more on top, but we'll go ahead and get these corners in. And then we actually want to put a pillar right here in the center as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and repeat what we did over there on that side. Okay, so now two different ways that you can go about customizing this mansion to be a little bit more of uh, something unique along the lines of something that you might want to do or just different ways that you can build this up yourself is you can either put the front door into the mansion either right here in the center you could do sort of a double door type thing right about there uh, you might have to play around with that a little bit or i can even show you guys an example once we get a little bit further in but since this is kind of a unique build here and there's not a ton of room over here I might wind up building up this cliffside a little bit more. Uh, I want to go ahead and do the front door in my build uh, right over here. So it's going to be over on the side. And even though this isn't going to be a front door, I do want to make it symmetrical and add a door over here as well. So this is probably going to be some kind of like little study in the mansion. And so it'll just have a little end. Uh, not entrance, but exit out of there. Now, I'm just looking at this build here and getting an idea for it. And you know, I think I actually made this a little bit shorter than my original design. So if this mansion is a little bit small for what you're looking to do in your own world, you can go ahead and bring out this rectangle here by another... Oh, I'd say another five blocks, and then you can pretty much just extend this and place the pillars in the center there in order to divide it up a little bit better. Now, in this case, oof, I'm going to have to rework my uh, deck design since this is smaller than I was originally planning, but that's okay. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and lay down some spruce fen- or not spruce, some dark oak fences along the border of this deck as a railing. And we'll go ahead and bring it out to there. And then I wanna go ahead and grab some dark oak stairs. And I'm gonna set these down just right about there. Okay, so now this is what we have. If you are building this with the front door right here in the center, you could go ahead and do something that's more of a wraparound stairway in order to keep that symmetrical look to it. And now that we do have this base set up, we're gonna go ahead and start laying in some of the wall with gray concrete powder. I decided to use this block because I really liked the dark coloring that it has. It's a dark gray, but it's also light. So I think it'll have a really nice effect for our building, being a uh, necromancer slash warlock's mansion. And I do say necromancer as well because I'm a fan of the necromancer class, uh, Diablo 2, etc, etc. But it felt very similar to a warlock as well. So I thought it would be appropriate to have the two, I don't want to call them classes, but I'm going to anyway, having the two different uh, sorcerers, spellcasters living together since they both practice the dark arts. They seemed like they'd be buddies. Maybe they're brothers or something, I don't know. Alright, so now we're just adding in some window panels here, and these are a little bit taller than what we typically go for in our builds, and that's because since we are building a mansion, we want this to look a little bit more elegant, and we're just topping these windows with upside down quartz stairs. The reason that we're doing that is just to give it a very slight white accent in order to contrast all of these dark blocks. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do what we did over there on this side. Let's see, right about there it looks like is even. And there we go. Now for this middle part, I think I want to make this a window as well. It's not quite a bay window since it's more of a circular design but it is something similar. And I'm looking in the wrong tab. There we go. So we'll build this up using just regular glass since it is that awkward little corner spot. Oh, and these actually, I think for these we'll go ahead and use quartz stairs. All right, not quartz stairs, but just regular smooth quartz. And we'll use that in order to top them since there's not really a good way to go about doing stairs on that center part. And we need some stairs over here as well. If you wanted to, if you are building this in survival and haven't gotten out to the nether yet, one thing you could do instead of doing these stairs, I chose stairs because they do add a little bit more depth in here, which I do like, but if you wanted to, you could do white concrete instead in order to pretty much accent these little window frames. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring this around over to here. And then I think we'll go ahead and do, is that three? Yeah, three on each side. So just a little two by three window over here on the edges of the building as well should be good. And we'll throw in those stairs. And why not? Let's get those glass panes in there as well. For this front door, there are a few different things we could do here. I think in this case I am going to... Oh, see, I might change my mind here as I'm thinking about this. I was thinking I was just going to do some regular dark oak doors, but you know, maybe it would look better 
having a different color since we have that dark oak patio slash deck already. Let's see, what else do we have here? The others aren't quite formal enough. Okay, this might look really weird, but what if we did the complete opposite and we went with a light color instead? Hmm. Let's add some gray concrete. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's get rid of one of these and just throw in a dark oak door in order to compare. Hmm. Okay, so I'm honestly kind of torn on that. I don't know that I'm a huge fan of either one. So another option that we can do is crimson and warped doors. Uh, this is the only downfall to using concrete powder is it's affected by gravity, but otherwise it is a very nice uh, block in itself. It has a nice texture look to it. Now see, that looks very, almost like varnish? I don't know, just the way that it has that bar across it. Hmm. I'm not too sure on that one, folks. Uh, <laughs> make your own judgment call on it, since it is your build. But in this case, I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the crimson doors. Let me know down in the comments below, which did you like best for that? Because I am curious. I want to know what you think worked best for this build, what you thought suited it the most. And then, shoot, looking over here, it looks like we actually forgot some railings. I'm going to throw that on real quick. Okay, there we go. Now we're complete. One thing I would love for them to add in one of these Minecraft updates, maybe one day in the future, is some like actual good glass doors that you can see through like that would be perfect for more modern builds okay so this is what we've got so far since it is the back of the house i don't want to do too many windows but we should probably have at least one in here somewhere so let's go ahead and put it right here in the center And then we'll throw in those stairs. Okay, so you guys should be getting a good idea of what's going on here so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same build of the wall over here on this side. And then we'll be back. Welcome back, folks. We've gone ahead and added in this other wall to the, I don't really know what to call this, arm of the house, maybe? And we've also gone ahead and added in some quartz stairs un up above the doors. So we did that over here on the front entrance as well. 
And really quick before I forget, I think I want to go ahead and add a quick stone button onto this side as a little doorbell because that way you can tell it's the actual front door. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll forget to do that later on. So now that we've gone ahead and added in the accent layer above the windows, we're going to go ahead and add another layer of concrete, uh, dark gray concrete. Oh no, just gray concrete. We're going to add that up around this section of the mansion section of the mansion wall, I should say. And we'll bring it all the way around. Now the reason that we're doing this is one, to break up the uh, pretty much constant like light gray pebbly effect thing that we get from the concrete powder itself, which is a good look. Mind you, I do like it a lot. It's why I chose it for this build. When I was first thinking about designing this, I was looking at a few different blocks and I really wanted something that had like this wood design on it, but rather than being a brown color, having it be like more of a gray or black or something along those lines, it just looked more like dead wood. But unfortunately, we do not have anything like that in Minecraft at this point in time. So I had to improvise. And you know, I think it's a pretty good choice if I do say so myself. What we did over here is we went ahead and added some upside down stairs. And what that's going to do is it's going to actually go ahead and encompass the roof a little bit better. Give it a bit more of a pop when it comes out. And speaking of that, we might be moving on to doing the deck. Ah, but you know, I think I want to get the rest of this wall up first, so let's go ahead and do that. Pretty much we're going to follow the same pattern that we've been doing. We're just going to go ahead and build up to the same height. And I think probably in two different places here we'll add some windows but let's go ahead and speed through that since it's nothing too fancy Okay, now that we've got that wall in, we are set to continue on, and we're going to go ahead and start building up that first layer of the roof. The reason that we're doing that is, by first layer of the roof, I pretty much mean the section that's covering the deck. So for now, I did go ahead and leave off stairs around the other parts of the concrete up here, but we might be changing that, depending on how it all looks. So now I want to do something a little bit different for this top pillar itself. Uh, hmm. If you're using quartz pillar, this is a lot easier because what you can do is, let me go ahead and show you guys, you can go ahead and do pretty much all quartz pillar itself. Up until this point and then once you get up here to the top you can just add smooth quartz and so that'll give it a different effect and make it look like a section that maybe embeds into the roof itself a little bit better but so now I'm looking for something that has that similar idea 
with the wood, but I don't know that there's anything that would really give me the effect that I'm looking for. At the same time, though, it might not need it because it's wood. Oh, you know what we can do? I don't like stripping wood a lot, but in this case, I think we can go ahead and do that. And then instead of this top block, we'll go ahead and strip the rest of it. And then we'll leave the top one as just regular oak. So I think in this case, that's going to be the best solution. All right. So we should have something like that right about now. And then let's move on to that roof. For the roof itself, I want to go ahead and use some nether brick. And so we'll go ahead and just start by laying on some stairs and we'll see how this looks. I haven't played around with the design too much to know for certain what we're going for, but hey, it's more fun that way. You guys can learn with me or I can learn with you. All right, we'll come out to there. And so what I'm doing here is I'm pretty much just I'm uh, bordering what we have down there. So if I go ahead and just draw a quick line directly up, then all the stairs are exactly pretty much in front of where the deck itself ends. Okay, we'll do something like that. And that's one too far. So once we get over here to the straight edges, it makes it a little bit easier. Can just follow that all the way to the end. Oh, that one's one too far. Let's build these up one more. And then I want to see how it would look if we transition over to half slabs. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone ahead and done a stairs along the bottom out on the outside of where the deck itself is. And then we've also gone up from there and pretty much transitioned into half slabs for two levels. And at this point in time, I think I want to actually go ahead and stop the incline and just come all the way around to here. So this is going to go all the way back up against the wall itself. And like so. Now, I almost wouldn't mind bringing this down by one and having this part cover the logs. 
But you know, that would be a lot of work. So I think we'll go ahead and leave it be as is. And then let's go ahead and start building up. Oh, I was going to say the second floor, but I actually have an idea for that area. So we'll just go ahead and start with this larger section of the building itself. I guess we never did fill this in, seeing as how it had the little stairs over it. That's okay. Do that real quick. And then for this part, I want to go ahead and start building this up. Something like so. And I want to start transitioning over to some more windows. Hmm. I'm just looking at this and wondering if maybe what we should do is try making this a little bit more circular. Yeah, okay, so something over here is what I was thinking. And what I'm trying to do at this point in time is just give it a bit of a spire. So, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Um, I'm wondering if we just do that. Okay, yeah, I think I kind of like that. So we'll do something like that. And I think I actually want to bring these out just a little bit. Okay, so that might have gotten a little bit confusing, but um, I'll try and leave it here at a couple of different angles for a moment. That way, if you guys need to, you can go ahead and pause it and see exactly everything that I've added on. I sort of just added in some... I pretty much just added in some depth where I felt like the roof could use it in order to build up a little bit more of a spire. And now we're going to go ahead and do some more windows and walls. Fun times. Grab the stairs. And then we'll fill this all in. Okay, so this is what we've got at this point in time. I'm a little bit torn on whether or not I want to add a window over here in this centerpiece of the circle. But you know, I do really like the angle that we've got going on down here right about now. And now for this area, I want to go ahead and start layering in probably... I'm going to say to the end of that window is where we're going to go out to. So to the very end of the back window is where we're building the wall out. 
which if you want something a little bit more specific it looks like that's gonna be about six out and really quick we're gonna need a window in here so let's go ahead and destroy a few of these and that should be good Then, coming around to here, we'll fill that all in. And... I don't know for sure if this is what we want to do, but I'm going to do it for now because it's easy. I might as well. It's right here. I'm just going to go ahead and lay out some concrete all the way across there at the same level as the top of this roof. And so that's what we've got right about there. Then I'm going to build up this side in order to match what we have on the opposite end. And then coming around to here, I want to go ahead and throw in some concrete powder all the way up the up to the top on the first two sections, leaving the middle empty. And we'll just leave it like that for now. We'll come back around to that. Uh, coming down here to the side, we can go ahead and fill this in up to the section of the roof. And so the reason that I'm leaving this so open is because I want to actually put in a small balcony over here. However, in order to do that, I do want to go ahead and figure out a, what the best way is to incorporate this roof. For now, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this on that side. And then we'll go ahead and build up this centerpiece so, so that it's a little bit taller. Once we've done all that, I'll bring you folks back in. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that is going to be it for today because we are out of time. Now, in today's episode, we were able to complete the majority of this mansion build as far as the walls and deck and the exterior go. So we're just needing to complete that roof and the balconies for the second floor. We will be continuing this in a special upload tomorrow because I don't want you guys to have to wait several days in order to complete this build. So if you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on that video release on the second part of the mansion. And if you are enjoying the build so far, don't forget to hit that like button. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have an awesome one. Bye!